All right, Impala LFX 13. This is going to be a technical video for all the owners of a Camry or Toyota RAV4 with the 2.5 dynamic force four cylinder. So let me this is the my uh third oil analysis uh from this engine and this vehicle. As you can see on the bottom left uh, when I took that sample, the uh, vehicle itself only had 2,800 kilometers, 2,789 to be uh, specific. And uh, the loop time only 17,700, so that means like just a little over a thousand miles. Now, let me move here quick for uh, those who follow me will understand what I'm doing here. Uh, if we, uh, the date I purchased the vehicle, uh, on the same day I did an oil... Uh, a drain and uh, I took a sample of that oil as you could see 16 kilometers and you could compare the OEM Toyota versus the the used uh, slightly used oil and on this on that day I did a mobile one change and I put mobile one with a little bit of Z-Max uh, Z-Max does not change the oil that's the comp what the company says and it basically uh, soaks in the middle once it's warm so I did an oil sample there, and then a thousand sixteen kilometers later, I did another oil change uh, with the Amsoil OE uh, zero W sixteen, and I did the same thing. I took an oil sample at uh, two point eight uh, kilometers after. So I have some good news: uh, the wear and tear, whatever it's it's spot on. Um, it's going on the right direction. If we go in the metals, you see copper. You could clearly see it's uh, it's dropping from the last oil change. That's good. If I go to the contaminants, if you look at silicone, same thing. Don't forget, there's a lot of anti-friction um, coatings that's inside the engine regarding piston pistons, uh, the piston rings, uh, the valve train stuff. So you'll have. Um, some stuff will slightly, uh, you know, uh, fade away from uh, the metals. Uh, Multi-source metal, uh, Mali B. Uh, you could see the Toyota OEM has a lot of it. Uh, but one thing I noticed, the Mali B seems to linger around a bit. Uh, if you look at Mobile One, it only had 81, but, you know, had 190. I guess it carry over from the, the, the factory one. And uh, same thing with the Amsoil, it's low on Molly B and it was a little bit more so. Uh, that's why it's very important to do a very good drain, oil drain, so you, you get as much oil as possible, but you know, parts inside will still be coated. Uh, manganese, 13, and uh, the comments there I have uh, from uh, the lubricant analysis report. It's, uh, they think it's something that came from the gasoline and they're uh, spot on because um, I would say about uh, 2,200 kilometers, I put a bottle of upper lubricant uh, cylinder inside the gas tank. Uh, Lucas makes some. I, I use the one from um, Amsoil. So that 13 ppm, it's probably from that. Pretty sure it's from that. Boron, I get a very good, excellent anti-wear. Um, it seems to... Uh, fade away a bit uh, but not by much if you look 196 to 164 and uh, if you wonder why there's more on the mobile one uh, that when i started could look at on the left side with toyota there was a lot of it uh, same thing with magnesium and calcium uh, very high numbers uh, after uh, you know more than a thousand mile which is very low but still that's important because that means um uh, Calcium and magnesium will, will keep contaminants always suspended so the filter can catch it. Uh, phosphorus and zinc, uh, barely not used at all. So that's good. And the viscosity, 100 degrees Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit, uh, dropped a little bit, but less than if you compare to the mobile one, you can see. And this is very important. This um, you don't want to do extended oil drains because this oil is already very thin uh, once it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. In winter, yeah, I guess it could be an advantage, but if you're in a hot 
uh, in the middle of a hot summer or some somewhere very hot do not do extend drain oils with zero w16 i i would again i said that in a past video i would drain it uh, always use the severe drainage um, manufacturer recommendation that's my recommendation for you for me i'm gonna do a maximum uh six thousand well eight thousand kilometers so figure about uh maximum six thousand miles on the uh on the 0 w16 so that's it that's all and uh, hope this uh, reassure a lot of the dynamic force 2.5 uh, cylinder owners out there bye